So far we've seen how to navigate the file system and create new files. We need to learn how to create new directories, remove directories, move and rename files, copy directories, um, and remove individual files. Alright, so let's start with making a directory. Here we are in the demo directory. So we want to make directory 3. To make a directory, we use the make directory command, which is mkdir, and give it the name. See, it created it for us. We can remove an empty directory with the remove dir command. Now it's gone. We can make a whole directory tree with um, the dash p flag. So let's say we wanted to make a directory three and inside of there um, directory a. Make dir won't let us do that by itself, but with a dash p flag we can make a whole directory tree at once. Remove dir will work on directories that are empty. Directory 3 is not empty right now. So what we can do is we can remove directory A first, which is empty, and then directory 3. We'll come back to removing directories that aren't empty in a minute. So we already know that we can create files with VI. We can also create a simple empty file with touch this file is empty we can move files around with the mv command so if I want to move file 2.txt to directory 3 that I've just created I could say move file 2 directory 3. Now we see it's out of the current directory and into directory 3. If I want to move file2.txt back, I can either refer to this full absolute directory that I'm in, home slash amir slash demo and that'll certainly work or I can ask it instead to move it to the current working directory which is represented by the dot so if files 2.txt is in directory 3, dir 3. We can move it using an absolute or a relative path. Now, let's say that I want to rename a file. Well, in Linux we think of file name as being part of its path and we can move it to a new path even in the same directory. So if I don't want to change the directory that file 2 is in, but I just want to change the name, it's still the move command. So move is both to move or to rename a directory uh, or a file. So moving file 2.txt to file 3.txt, we might call this a rename, but we're using the move command. Let's say that I actually want both file and I want to make a new version of file 1 and I want to edit it. I can copy using the cp command, copy file 1 to file 2.txt. We see that file 1 and file 2.txt are exactly the same size because they are exact copies of each other. So the copy command lets us copy files. 
we can copy things in the current directory, we can copy them to any other directory. When we want to copy a directory, let's say I want to copy directory 1 to directory 4, we get an error. It says it's skipping directory 1. That's because directories need to be explicitly moved with the uh, copy with the recursive flag. So copy dash r for recursive will recursively copy directory one and all of its contents to directory four. When we want to remove a directory, particularly a directory that has files in it. So let's go ahead and put a file in directory 3. Directory 3 is no longer empty. We know that removing directory 3 with the remove dear command won't work because it's not empty. I could remove the individual file, but we haven't learned that yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rm-rf command. This removes an entire directory tree. This is the fancier version of rm. There is the, pl the plain version of rm. We'll just remove a single file. So if a directory is not empty, we need to either empty it by removing all of the files contained within that directory, or by specifying the rm-rf command and deleting the entire directory and all of its contents and subdirectories.